Hello everyone, uh, welcome to this short video about a follow-up video about video scaling on the AVCX 6700. This is one of the subjects we talked about last week in the AVR uh, session we held. You might remember that I hooked up an AVCX 6700 in my lounge room and here is uh, some photos from that session with all my sources here you can see connected to the AVCX 6700. I had some issues with the video uh, scaling on this that I couldn't resolve at the time. Two of my sources were outputting what I, a lower resolution than I expected. My Fetch TV box with HDMI out was outputting its maximum resolution of 1080p, but it was outputting also from the receiver at 1080p. While my DVD player with component video, it was inputting 576i, it was also only going out at 1080p 50 frames per second. I found this very strange. I couldn't fix it. And I shared with you that I was going to ask uh, my support team at Sound United, which I've done. Um, however, before they get back to me with an answer, I've kind of already resolved it, I'm pleased to say. Uh, let me show you what I did. I basically had another go and this time it worked. Here's a screenshot of the menu system on the 6700. Uh, you go setup, uh, video settings, video output settings, and these options are presented to you. The two noticeable or important ones are video conversion, on or off. Obviously you want it on because I essentially just want to convert my uh, analog video uh, component and composite up to HDMI without touching the resolution. The other setting is the scalar, and that's where resolution is adjusted. It's got three settings, off, where it's not used at all, analog, where only analog video is scaled, but not HDMI signals, and then, of course, analog and HDMI, where they're both scaled to whatever resolution you want. Now, when you leave the output resolution set to auto, it detects what the television is and scales it to that to the resolution of the television, which in, of course is 4K in this particular case. My next screenshot, you can see where I've turned the scaler off and these resolution aspects are, are grayed out, uh, and, but they show where they were last set to when they were uh, deactivated. And of course, if you do turn the scaler on and you can manually go in and turn these off auto and adjust them to whatever resolution you wish from 576i all the way up to 4k or almost anything in between. So once I turned the scaler on and set it to analog and HDMI or left everything at factory settings for some reason this time everything was working perfectly. Here's my fetch TV inputting to the receiver 1080p 50 however it's outputting at 4k 50. Here's my component video output from a DVD player going into the receiver at 576i, also outputting at 4K50. Beautiful, as I expected. Just for interest and to finish with, I adjusted the settings of the scaler to off and then had another look at the DVD player to see what the consequence of turning it off had. And it was exactly as I might have expected in one way and then a little surprise as well. Of course, the signal going in was still 576i, but the output, as I expected, was also just 576i native resolution from the source. Good. It's exactly what it should be doing. Interesting to see, though, the uh, video output settings of my DVD player are not set quite correctly. So the native output was in 4x3 mode, and I had letterboxes top and bottom and along the sides. The receiver was fixing that for me and scaling it correctly for a beautiful 16x9 image. So good job, AVCX 6700. So I was doing something wrong last week. I'm not sure what, but either way, it's resolved now and the receiver is working perfectly.